Hello students! So nice to see you again everyone! And now, please welcome back to our English class! And yes, for today, I am your English teacher and you can call me Teacher Kwan. It's nice to see you again! Alright students, yes, for today, we are going to find out with our wonderful story of Chess and Andy that they are talking about the female leaders all right but before we are going to find out with our program so this time we are going to sing and dance first do you love to sing and dance with me yes very nice all right stand up students stand up let's sing and dance together with our song that we call hello song so don't forget to say it up like this <laughs> Dance together, everyone! Great work! 
And what about Windy, everyone? Is this Windy now? No again. No again. Today it's not windy too. So good or new. This part we are going to find out with Sunny. See you then. Oh, is it Sunny? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Excellent. Yes, now it's Sunny. All right, practice with me. So this time you will say, Today it's Sunny. Now your turn. Today is Sunny. Great work. All right, that's all with some of our equations for today. Let's find out with our program, everyone. Like teacher have mentioned you. For today, we are going to have fun with our Enot and Junior Brow. Now, let's check up with our online program over there. And for today, we are going to have fun with our Phoenix. Let's start it with our Phoenix 3. Alright, are you ready everyone? Yes! So, let's get started. Yes, is our Phoenix tree, everyone. All right, this part. Don't forget to find out your book and bring it beside you again. We are going to find out with our Phoenix tree over there. And let's begin with our unit one. Here it is. It's on page four of your textbook. Yes, open it on page four. Then you can find with the dialogue over there of Chess and Andy. What are they talking about? All right, let's check up with part of preview. Yes, students. So, out of Phoenix Tree, out of title, it's for say with me, female leaders. Your turn. Female readers. Excellent. Don't forget to open it on page four, everyone. Now, look up at out of dialogue of Chase and Andy that we have. This part, we are going to listen with the total dialogue. And discussing about this. All right, are you ready? Yes. Let's listen it together. Chase, who is your hero? Hero? Hmm. My grandmother is my hero. Ha <laughs> ha, you're kidding. An old lady? Okay, but did she fight crime? No, she is friendly and works hard. Is she tall and strong? Well, she's short actually, but she is very smart. Okay. Andy, think about it. No grandmothers means no parents and no you. No, Andy? Where are you going? I have to find my grandmother, my hero. So? That or without a total dialogue of Chase and Andy student. Yes, they are talking about the heroes in their real life. So student, who is Chase's heroes? His hero is his? His grandmother. Yes, great work. Ah, oh, yeah, Chase, he has the heroes and his hero is his? Grandmother. Oh wow, that's so nice. His grandmother, she old actually, or she cannot fight crime, but she is smart, kind, and friendly. Oh, that's why she is going to be just heroes right now. What about Andy? Everyone, who is his hero? From now, not, but he are going to find out his grandmother too, like Chess. All right, that all with the total dialogue that we have. So this part, everyone, after we have listened to the total dialogue, the next part, we are going to listen with our paragraph. So our paragraph here, it's on page 10 of your textbook, student. You have to open your textbook on page 10. Then you can find out with this paragraph of brave women. Yet, we are going to listen with this total paragraph together. So, you can open your book, look along, then listen with other program. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, listen it together, everyone. Here. Brave women. When we think of heroes, we often think of men. Abraham Lincoln... Mahatma Gandhi and others. But 
There are many wonderful female heroes as well. Let's look at a few and what they did. In the 15th century, England wanted to control France, so the nations were at war. A young woman, Joan of Arc, joined the fight to defend France. She was only 19 years old, but fought bravely for her country. Though she was caught and killed during the war, Joan of Arc is remembered today. She is a saint in the Catholic Church and a symbol of France. Many still admire her courage and loyalty. In 2012, gunmen attacked a school bus in Pakistan. A girl named Malala Yousafzai had been fighting for women's education. Some were angry with Yousafzai and wanted to silence her. She was shot but survived. Then the world listened closely to what she had to say. Yousafzai won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014 and continued fighting for human rights and education for everyone. Those examples are unusual, but there are heroes everywhere, in your family, at school, in your neighborhood. Look around and see how many heroes you can find. Oh yes, that's all without a paragraph, for a total paragraph of brave women. Yet still then, when we're going to talk about heroes, mostly we are often think about the men. But if for exactly, we have a lot of brave women in outer world. Let us one look at the picture. Here is the century of John the Ark. Archie's friend student and she is only 19 years old that she has fight for the world war. She's fight for her country. Oh, that's why she's really famous in her country. Alright, when we're talking about some kind of heroes, yes, maybe we have some women. Yeah, just look around you. Maybe someone Maybe in your family, in your neighbor, in your school, or maybe in your house, ah, you would have some kind of heroes. And then maybe your mom would be your heroes too. Just look around, student. Yes, that or without a total paragraph of brave women. All right, after we have, listen to the total dialogue of Andy and Chess. And we have listened to the paragraph of brave women already. This part, everyone, we are going to find out more with outer vocabularies. Yet, let's learn with outer new words. This part, we move to vocabulary. Let's listen to the vocabularies that we have. The first one is... Female. Followed by... Hero. Leader President Valedictorian Writer Chancellor First Lady Pilot Minister Movie director, actress, mayor, politician, professor, out of last one, diplomat. All right, this part we have listened to out of six vocabularies already, and this part. We are going to practice with all of them by listen and say. Yes, everyone, look at all the picture. Oh, he is here. So, this part, our vocabulary is for... Female. Say with me, female. Your turn. 
female. Excellent. These are some of females. All right, practice more. Listen and say it one more time. Female. Now your turn. Female. Great work. And let's find out with other sentences we have. So this sentence is. There are many wonderful female heroes. Repeat after me. There are many wonderful female heroes. Your turn. There are many wonderful female heroes. Great work, everyone. All right, let's find out more. The next vocabulary hero. is... Yes, it's for hero. Now say with me. Hero. Hero. Your turn. Hero. Yes, this man he is the heroes of this boy. All right, maybe it's hands further. So now it's you, everyone. Listen and say this word. Hero. Now your turn. Hero. Excellent. Then practice without a full sentence. My grandmother is my hero. So repeat after me. My grandmother is my hero. Your turn. My grandmother is my hero. Is your grandmother is your hero, everyone? Yes. Uh, maybe. Some yes, some no. All right. Let's find out more with the next vocabulary. Leader. Yes, this one is for leader. So the lady one. She is the leader of this team. All right. Practice with me. Leader. Leader. Your turn. Leader. Great work. So now let's practice with part of sentence. And our sentence is... I became the leader of our team. Repeat after me. I became the leader of our team. Your turn. I became the leader of our team. Excellent. All right. Let's move to our next one. Here it is. President. Yes, this word is for presidents who runs of the city, of the countries, or the head of the country. Everyone, listen and say with me. President. President. Your turn. President. Excellent. Let's practice with our sentence. So this sentence is. It has its own president elected every four years. Repeat after me. It's had its own president elected every four years. Your turn. It has its own president elected every four years. Excellent, everyone. Yes, in every four year, we have to elect the new president. All right, now let's find out some more. Valedictorian. Yes, this girl, now she's graduated in part of Listen and Say With Me. Valedictorian. Valedictorian. Your turn. Valedictorian. Excellent. All right, practice more with part of sentence. So listen. She graduated as the valedictorian of her class. Now repeat after me. She's graduated as the valedictorian of her class. Your turn. She graduated as the valedictorian of her class. Excellent students. All right, let's find out with the next one. His is... Writer. Yes, the man who is write down some kind of article. And he is the... Writer. Say with me, writer. Your turn. Writer. Great work. Yes, now he is the writer. Now practice with part of sentence, everyone. Listen. I saw the famous writer in London. Repeat after me. I saw the famous writer in London. Your turn. I saw the famous writer in London. Maybe JK Loring? What do you think? Maybe. All right. Let's find out without the next one. Chancellor. All right. Here, our vocab is for. Repeat after me. Chancellor. Your turn. Chancellor. Excellent. Practice without a sentence, everyone. Listen. The Chancellor of Germany runs the government. Repeat after me. The Chancellor of Germany runs the government. 
your turn. The Chancellor of Germany runs the government. Good job. All right, find out more with the next part. First Lady. Yes, everyone, the Vice of the President. She is the... First Lady. Say with me, First Lady. Your turn. First Lady. Good job. Now let's practice with part of sentence. She is the American First Lady. Repeat after me. She is the American First Lady. Your turn. She is the American First Lady. Very nice. All right, let's move to the next vocabulary. Pilot. Oh, yeah, this boy, he is the... Pilot. Say with me, everyone. Pilot. Your turn. Pilot. Well done. Now, practice with other sentence. He is a pilot. Say with me. He is a pilot. Your turn. He is a pilot. Excellent. Let's practice with the next vocabulary. Minister. Look at these ladies, and she is the... Minister. Say with me, minister. Your turn. Minister. Excellent. Practice more with part of sentence. So, listen first. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Repeat after me. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Your turn. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Excellent, everyone. Now, let's move to our next vocabulary. Movie director. Oh, he is. He's kind of cameraman. And he is the... Movie director. Say with me, movie director. Your turn. Movie director. Yes, movie director is... The man who is directed the role story of this movie, student. Now, practice with part of sentence. I saw the famous female movie director in LA. Repeat after me. I saw the famous female movie director in LA. Your turn. I saw the famous female movie director in LA. Great work. All right. Let's find out with the next one. He is... Actress. Yes, student. Look at this lady one. She is the... Actress. Say with me. Actress. Your turn. Actress. Excellent. Find out more with part of sentence. She has a very successful career as an actress. Repeat after me. She has a very successful career as an actress. Your turn. She has a very successful career as an actress. Excellent. All right, the next vocabulary is... Mayor. Say with me, this man, he is the... Mayor. Mayor. Your turn. Mayor. Good job. Who represent his own country? He is the mayor. Now practice with other sentence. I saw the mayor in Nashville. Say with me. I saw the mayor in Nashville. Your turn. I saw the mayor in Nashville. Excellent. Let's move to our next one. Politician. Yes, student, look at this picture. They are the politicians over there. Now listen and say with me. Politician. Politician. Your turn. Politician. Great work. Practice with part of sentence. I saw the popular politician in Washington. Repeat after me. I saw the popular politicians in Washington. Your turn. I saw the popular politicians in Washington. Excellent, everyone. Now, our next vocabulary is... Professor. Yes, yeah, some kind of teacher who have teach at the college or the university. We call all of them for... Professor. Say with me, professor. Your turn. Professor. Excellent. Practice with other sentence. I saw the famous female professor in Harvard. Repeat after me. 
I saw the famous female professor in Harvard. Your turn. I saw the famous female professor in Harvard. Well done, everyone. All right, our next vocabulary is... Diplomat. Oh, yes. Now say with me, this word is for... Diplomat. Diplomat. Your turn. Diplomat. Very nice. So, practice with part of sentence. I want to be a diplomat and work for my country. So, repeat after me. I want to be a diplomat and work for my country. Your turn. I want to be a diplomat and work for my country. Very nice to that. That's all with part of audio vocabularies for today. So, let's move to the next part, everyone. So now, everyone, we move to part of sentence. Let's practice with all the sentences that we have. So, listen first. Number one. I saw the popular singer in L.A. Our next Number sentence. two. I saw the famous runner in Australia. The next one. Number three. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Number four. I saw the famous writer in London. Yes, that's all with part of Number listening. one. I saw the popular singer in L.A. And this time, we are going to practice with out of four sentences that we have by listen and say. All right, everyone, practice together. Out of sentence number one, look at this lady. Or she has her own microphone. And yes, she is the singer. Practice together, everyone. Number one. I saw the popular singer in L.A. Repeat after me. I saw the popular singer in L.A. Your turn. I saw the popular singer in L.A. Excellent, Stephen. All right, move to sentence number two. Number two. I saw the famous runner in Australia. Yes, she is the famous runner. Now practice without a full sentence. Number two. I saw the famous runner in Australia. Repeat after me. I saw the famous runner in Australia. Your turn. I saw the famous runner in Australia. Well done. All right, now let's practice with part of sentence number three. Number three. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Oh, she is the minister, student. Now, practice together. Number three. I saw the Minister of Education in France. And repeat after me. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Your turn. I saw the Minister of Education in France. Excellent, everyone. So, out of last sentence, now we move to number four. Number four. I saw the famous writer in London. Oh, she is the famous writer. Now practice with me. Number four. I saw the famous writer in London. So, I saw the famous writer in London. Your turn. I saw the famous writer in London. Excellent, student. Yes, that's all with out of four sentences that we have for today. All right, let's move to our next part, everyone. And this time, we are going to practice with our dialogue of Chase and Andy. Yes, let's bring back your student book and don't forget to open it on page four. Then you can follow the dialogue of Chase and Andy. Now, practice together, everyone. We move to part of dialogue. Chase, who is your hero? Hero? Hmm. My grandmother is my hero. Ha <laughs> ha, you're kidding, an old lady? Yes, everyone, now practice together with part of Chase and Andy that they are talking about 
he's their own heroes in his real life. So, begin with part of Andy. He asks him to share, and Andy says, Ch Chase, who is your hero? Now, repeat after me. Chase, who is your hero? Your turn. Chase, who is your hero? We move to part of Chase, and he answers, Hero? Hmm. He think about it and he say, Hero? Hmm. Your turn. Hero? Hmm. My grandmother is my hero. Repeat after me. Chess says, My grandmother is my hero. Your turn. My grandmother is my hero. We move to part of Andy. <laughs> You're kidding, an old lady? All this part, Eddie's laughed out loud and he said, Ha ha, you're kidding, an old lady? Your turn. Ha ha, you're kidding, an old lady? An old lady? Alright, let's find out more, everyone. Okay, but does she fight crime? No. She is friendly and works hard. Is she tall and strong? Well, she's short actually, but she is very smart. Yes, everyone, we still with part of Andy. And this time Andy says... Okay, but does she fight crime? Repeat after me, okay? But does she fight crimes? Your turn. Okay, but... Does she fight crime? All right, now this town chase answers. No, she is friendly and works hard. Repeat after me. No, she is friendly and work hard. Your turn. No, she is friendly and work hard. Yes, we back to part of Eddie's again. He asks him more. Is she tall and strong? Repeat after me again. Is she tall and strong? Your turn. Is she tall and strong? Well done. We back to part of Chess. Now Chess earns us. Well, she's short actually, but she is very smart. Repeat after me, everyone. Well, she's short actually, but she's very smart. Your turn. Well, she's short actually, but she is very smart. Very nice, everyone. Now, the next part of this dialogue. Okay. Andy, think about it. No grandmothers means no parents and no you. No, Andy? Where are you going? I have to find my grandmother, my hero. Okay, everyone, this time we still with part of Andy, and Andy says... Okay. Say with me, okay? Your turn. Okay. Oh, we'll be back to part of chess still then. Now, he asking back to Andy. Andy, think about it. No grandmothers means no parents, and no you. Repeat after me, everyone. Andy, think about it. No grandmothers means no parents. And no you, your turn. Andy, think about it. No grandmother means no parents and no you. All right, we're back to Andy. And Andy says... No, Andy. Say with me. No, Andy. Your turn. No, Andy. Oh, he quite worried about this. If the word no, Andy, what will happen? Then he runs away from Chess, everyone. Now Chess says... Where are you going? Repeat after me. Where are you going? Your turn. Where are you going? I'll be back to part of Andy. And Andy answers the question of Chess for... I have to find my grandmother, my hero. Yes, repeat after me. I have to find my grandmother, my hero. Your turn. I have to find my grandmother, my hero. Yes, 
Now, it is he's going to fight his grandmothers, his heroes like Jess, everyone. That's all with other total dialogue that we have. So for today, yes, with other unit one, we have practice with other prevail vocabulary, sentence and dialogue already. Let's practice with other next part, everyone. And this time, we are going to practice with other exercise, all right? Let's find out your workbook or your worksheet beside you. We are going to practice together. And student, don't forget to find out your pen or maybe you can use some pencil. It's according to you. So this time, you have to open your workbook or page for student. Let's practice together. So, our exercise part A on page 4 of Communicate. Part A, we are going to read and match the words by find out with the crews from Choi A to Choi H that we have over there. Then, write down the right letters to match with the words that we have. Now, student, let's read out the 8 words that we have. So, repeat after me. Number one is for ticket. Your turn. Ticket. And then number two, pyramid. Your turn. Pyramid. And number three, manager. Your turn. Manager. Number four is for danger. Your turn. Danger. And number five, major. Your turn. Mayor. Number six, politician. Your turn. Politician. Well done. And number seven is for painter. Your turn. Painter. The last one with number eight, this word is for singer. Your turn. Singer. Well done. All right, let's find out with the crews that we have. So, student, let's check out with Choi A. The clue Choi A is tell us for the possibilities to cause harm or injury. Student, harm and injury. What does this mean? Danger. Yes, it means danger. Very nice. It's quite a danger. All right, we are in dangers or dangerous. We have to choose A, write down to the word of danger with number four. Everyone, cut out A and then write down A here. All right, now let's check out with the clues with choice B. And choice B tell us for a person who engaged in politics, student. What kind of the person who engaged in the politics? Yes, what? Politician. Yes, the politicians. Very nice. Now let's choose B. Write down with the word of politicians. Number six over there. Write down B here. All right. Have you finished, everyone? Yes. Well, let's move to the clues with choice C. Choice C tell that for the elected head of the city or the town student the head of the city or the town who is it major major well done yes choose c write down with the word of major of number five over there great work all right let's move to our choice d so choice d is tell us for a person who manages the business or the company who can manage the business at the company, everyone. Manager. The manager. Well done. Let's choose the right down with the word number three of manager. Very nice. B is here. Now move to other crews with Choi E. Choi E is tell us for a piece of paper, student. Maybe it's like a small card with that shows that you are going to pay and then. If you would need to enter to some places, you need to show that small card. What is that? Ticket. It's the ticket. Very nice. Let's choose E. Write down with the word number one. Ticket. Excellent. We move to the cruise with Choi F, student. So, Choi F tell us that any objects with triangular, student. Triangular, student. Ah, it looks like this. Triangular. And then slow sides like it oh what kind of chairs that triangular pyramid like yes it's from pyramid very nice 
let's choose M right down for pyramid. And this part, we move to other clues with short G. G tells us for a person who sings professionally. Who can sing professionally? Singer. Yes, absolutely singer. Very nice. Choose G for singer. Write down G here. All right, the last one. The clues with Joy H is tell us for an artist who can paint the pictures. Who can paint the pictures, everyone? Yes, painter. Boy. Painter. Very nice. Choose H. Write down with painter of number seven. Oh, yes, now from part A, read and match the words from the cruise. We have done already from the word number one to number eight. Have you done already? Yes. Excellent. All right, student. Now let's move to part B of communicate. And part B, we are going to complete our sentences by using the word in our box that we have over there. Now, read follow me with the word that we have. First one is for director. Your turn. Director. Next one, movie. Your turn. Movie. And then American. Your turn. American. Next one is for heroes. Your turn. Heroes. Followed by help. Your turn. Help. The next one for protects. Your turn. Protects. And then queen. Your turn. Queen. Now the last word that we have is for fight. Your turn. Fight. Excellent. Let's complete our eight sentences over there. Check up with number one student. This sentence is for I am in danger. I will ask for my mom's student. If you are in danger, you will ask for your mom for help. Help. Excellent. Let's choose help and then fill in this sentence right down together. And don't forget to cut it out. Help! We have first stop already. Yes! Have you finished with number one? Yes! Find out more with number two, student. This sentence tells us for I had a chance to meet you real lovers. A famous blank extract, student. So yeah, you real Robert. She is the famous actress of... American. American. Yes, she is an American famous actress. Let's choose the right word of American. And then fill in. It would be capital A, student. And don't forget to cut it out again. Have you finished with number two? Yes. Good job. Check up with number three. This one we have the and then blank. Who directed the movie? It's one of my best friends. Still then, look at our hints. Who can direct the movie? The, it the, would be the... The director. The director. Well done. Let's choose the voice of director. And then fill in the blank. Director. Don't forget to cut it out again. Yes, the complete sentence is for the director who directed that movie. It's one of my best friends. All right, let's find out more with our sentence number four. So number four, here is for I forgot her role in that. So we can find some kind of role from the movie. movie. Well done, let's fill in the right word of movie. Yes, so finally we have the complete sentence of number four. It's for I forget her role in that movie. All right, let's find out with part of number five. So number five we have my friends are my and then blank. They so we helps me. Oh, my friend would be my, guess what, everyone? My heroes. Heroes, excellent. Let's fill in the right word of heroes, what you say? And don't forget to cut it out again. Yes, our complete sentence is for My friends are my heroes. They always help me. Alright, let's move to our sentence number six. 
So this sentence is for my heroes is my grandmother. Cheese and then blank. Me all the time. What is cheese doing? Me all the time. Cheese protects. Protects. Yes, it would be protects. Well done. Let's fill in the right word of protects. And don't forget to cut it out again. Yes, cheese protects me all the time. That's the right one. Now, move to sentence number seven. So, Joan of Arc, joy the blank to defend France in the 15th century. Oh, student, Joan of Arc, she's the great brave woman in France. And then, oh, she's going to war for Fight. Fight. Yeah, she is fight to defend in France her own country. Let's fill in the right word of fight. Good job. And then cut it out. So, out the last one, which sentence number eight, this one is for I saw the blank and then of the UK in London. The last word is for queen. Queen, excellent. Fill in the right word of queen. Yes, our this complete sentence is for I saw the queen of the UK in London. Yes, now we have complete out eight sentences already. Have you finished with part B? Yes. Excellent, everyone. Yes, let's find out with our next part of the exercise for today. This time, we move to part of learn and write. Part A on page, on page 7, student. Here it is. So, we are going to read the paragraph below over there. And then we have to answer our four questions here. Let's read the paragraph first. So everyone, you have to read, follow me. Are you ready? Yes. Read, follow me, everyone. So let's begin with sentence number one. We flew in Sydney on Monday 17th, which was also my birthday. Your turn. We flew in Sydney on Monday 17th, which was also my birthday. Excellent. The next sentence is for the first we did work to visit the most important landmark in this place. Your turn. The first we did work to visit the most important landmark in this place. The Sydney's Opera House. Your turn. The Sydney Opera House. Excellent. The next sentence is for It's incredibly stunning with its world-class architecture. Your turn. It's incredibly stunning with its world-class architecture. Excellent. So, our sentence number three is for The following day, we ate dinner at the restaurant. Your turn. The following day, we ate dinner at the restaurant. Now, move to sentence number four. Everyone, read follow me. The waiters who were all dressed in traditional fresh men's clothes. Your turn. The waiters who were who were all dressed in traditional fishermen's clothes. Good job. And then the next one is for were very nice and accommodating. Your turn. Were very nice and accommodating. Good job. Now sentence number five is for the next day we visited the Sydney's Tower and Saint Mary's Cathedral. Your turn. The next day, we visited the Sydney Tower and St. Mary Cathedral. Good job. Our next sentence is for We then left on Sunday evening after a mini vacation that helped me to relax before going back to work again. Your turn. We then left on Sunday evening after a mini vacation that helped me to relax before going back to work again. Well done, student. Yes, that's all with our paragraph that we have. Yes, from our paragraph, we have some narrator. Now they have visited to the 
Australia student. Yes, maybe it's on the vacations to relax. And then now it's on the birthday too. So they going with some of famous attractions of Australia. Some of Sydney Opera House, some of Sydney Tower and St. Mary Cathedral. All right, this part, let's focus on part of remember. So part of remember, we talking about the relative pronouns that are used to make clear about the things of which person that we are talking about. All right, let's answer all the questions from number one to number four. Still then, let's begin with number one. So number one asking for which sentence, student, that use the relative pronouns of the people? Guess what, student? Which sentence that use relative pronouns of people? So part of people pronouns gonna be like you, we, they, so on. Can you find some? Sentence number five. Yes, sentence number five. They represent for we. Yes, yes. We. Are they represent to the main narrator of this paragraph? Yes, we can find the pronouns, the reality pronouns of people in sentence number five. Now you have to answer. Just write down number five over there. All right, move to questions number two, student. So number two is asking for which sentences use reality pronouns of things, student. Here, let's find out which sentences that use the relative pronoun of things. Can you find some? Sentence number one. Yes, sentence number one. We can follow it. Which? Ah, which word also my birthday? Ah, I think it's for the date. All right, now write down number one here. So let's move to other questions. Number three, student. Number three asking for why do you think the narrator went to Sydney, student? What do you think that why the narrator of this paragraph went to Sydney? Because they want to relax. Relax. And that day is for the Birthday. Birthday. Yes. Now we have to complete. Or ah, maybe they need to relax. And it's also his or her birthday. Write down this sentence together, student. It's on her birthday. Full stop. Yes. They just need to relax before they go back to work and then it's on his or her birthday. Alright, here is the right answers of questions number three. So let's move to the next one with questions number four. Number four is asking for what are the popular extractions that mentions in other passages, passes, student? The Sydney Opera House. Yes. The next one. Sydney Tower and St. Mary Cathedral. Yes. We have three famous attractions. Teacher underline in purple. You can write down these three names of the famous landmark of Australia. Two answers are the questions number four, student. The Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Tower, and the St. Mary's Cathedrals. Here, three of them is the right answers of questions number four. That's all when part A. All right, let's find out with the next part for today. So, we move to part B, everyone. Have you finished from this part? Yes. Great work. All right. 
So, our next exercise, we move to part B. Part B, we are going to complete our sentences still then by using the words from our box that we have over there. Alright, now read the words that we have. Say with me. First one is for valedictorian. Your turn. Valedictorian. Move to terrible. Your turn. Terrible. And then blind. Your turn. Blind. Move to documentary. Your turn. Documentary. And the last one is for deep. Your turn. Deep. Excellent. All right, let's complete our paragraph, everyone. So here, from part of number one over there, this sentence is for Have you seen the blank? That came out recently. Guess what? What kind of word does match to this sentence, everyone? Have you seen the... Documentary. Great work. Documentary. Let's choose this word. Then fill in the blank. Documentary. Quite long word. Don't forget to cut it out, student. From number one, it's for documentary. Yes, this paragraph is for Have you seen the documentary that came out recently? And then it's about heroes, especially females heroes. One of heroes, what Anne Sullivan. Anne has a then blank childhood. So Anne, she has a Terrible. Yeah, she has a terrible childhood. Let's use the right word of terrible. Complete to number two. Terrible. So, the complete sentence is for Anne had a terrible childhood. So, she has an eye disease. Then, makes her nearly. Nearly, she has eye disease and then she nearly blind. Blind. Good job. All right. Don't forget to cut it out. Cut terrible. And then fill in the right one of blind. Full stop here. Now she has an eye disease which made her nearly blind. The next part is for however she got an education and graduated at the she graduated at the valedictorian. Valedictorian, excellent. Complete this word. Valedictorian. It's quite long again. Cut it out. So yes, the complete sentence is for. However, she got an education and graduated at the valedictorians of her class. All right, the next sentence is for she became one of the greatest teachers. She is worth the teachers who taught Helen Keller. So, Helen Keller was a very special child who was both blind and... She's blind and... Deep. Deep, good job. So, let's choose deep. Fill in the blank student. Yes, now, Helen was a very special child who was both blind and deaf. All right, the next one. However, Anne Sullivan took great care of her and taught Helen to speak, read, and write. Because of Anne, Helen is one of the world famous speakers and artists of all times. Incredibles. Right now, everyone, we have complete our paragraph of part B already. Have you finished with our part B? Yes. Excellent, everyone. That's all for today. All right. And now, it's the end with part of our exercise for today, too. So, it's really thumbs up. But before we leaving our class for today, yes, we are going to sing and dance with our last song, everyone. All right, now let's stand up, still then. Stand up. We are going to sing and dance with the last song for today. So this song that we call is Kinamaringa. Don't forget to stand up like this.